Dude, you should be proud. I mean, honestly, it's you, you either go one or two ways in that situation. You become the abuser or you are aware of yourself and you become a good person and you fight. You know, I, my partner Purple here, who's going to be my wife, she comes from a pretty messed up home life as well. And she's a champion for helping people. She has taught me a lot about mental health and it seems like you're on that pathway and you're a father and you're doing well and you're aware of yourself and you're seeking therapy. Like you got out, you're doing good. You have a warrior soul, man. You were taking it very well. Uh, I commend you for that. Cause I don't know that I would, I'd be dead if I were you. I honestly think I would be, I have a hard time dealing with, with stress and stuff like that. And, Man, you're you're a warrior. You're a champion. I. So I. That being said, how did you get out of this situation? How did you sever the ties enough for you to extricate yourself out of this situation and and get to where eventually get to where you are now? But how did you get out and away from that toxic environment? My son being born because my son's mom is from the same place. She, I have. I have a like hate relationship with her because I had a really hard time. I thought I always blamed her for me ending up here because I didn't want to leave council bless. I was at that. I was of that mentality where, you know, that's where everybody is and blah, blah, blah. And to, I'm not going to go into all this, but I had some pretty shitty ass friends too. So that also helped get me up here. But, uh, um, I think I can say safely say I only had like one or two friends that I actually fully trusted that had no agendas with me or anything like that mm -hmm. and didn't use me like some of the other ones did. And, uh, so what happened was my son's mom, she went through molestation and I believe that she was raped at one point when she was four and her mom was a big drug head. So was her dad. And her dad actually died recently from AIDS because of needles and stuff. And um, so her and I got together back in 2003. And then we were only, oops, we were only together for about 10 months. And then she ended up getting, I ended up getting her pregnant. And she, I knew when we got together that this was going to be a possibility that she'd want to move. And I'm sitting there like, oh yeah, I'll probably be able to change her mind, blah, blah, blah. You know, stupid I don't even know why I thought that, but it's, I got, we did all that. And then we broke up, we ultimately broke up because she didn't want me. She, I, I, I didn't want to move and she wanted me to, I didn't know she was even pregnant when she left. She did. I didn't though. Mm -hmm. And she did have her reservations about me becoming like my dad, which is understandable. I get it. But the thing is, is I'm not. And she knows that now she ended up getting into a very abusive relationship that lasted 10 years and her and I have personally talked about it. And I'm like, I even said to her once, I'm like, see, I wasn't as crazy as you thought I was, was I? And she's like, no, you were actually very minimal compared to what I was dealing with. And it was never, we never had a bad relationship. That's what I didn't get about it. She knew I had anger problems that, and I used to, when I was living with my dad, I'd always punch things, you know, and I, broke my hand numerous times because of hitting signs. And I even cut my hand open really bad hitting a stop sign once. And that's how I ended up hurting myself over other people, because again, I don't see how to do why anybody would want to do that in the first place. Mm -hmm. So that being said, my son being born and her taking off without telling me she was pregnant ended up as how I ended up up here and away from all that. And it took me just up until, uh, I want to say 2019 when my grandma said that, what she said about, you know, she was just the grandparent took me up until that time before I finally realized, fuck these people, man, you know, that's and what I would like to kind of just, um, comment on there is, you know, there's this phrase family over everything. And some people say like, you know, blood is thicker than water and all that stuff. But I'm genuinely of the opinion that unless your family has your best interests at heart and they do right by you, then fuck your family. I don't I think, I don't think anybody has any loyalty to anybody beyond how they treat them. And I really think, and I understand it. I understand, you know, we're conditioned that way to think that we have some kind of duty to these people. But yeah. if they're like what you're talking about, then honestly, you're better off without them and you just got to cut that tie.